Meg accused of stalking the first coloured marchioness, Emma Weymouth. Harry's wife copied every move of hers. We've talked recently about how much Meghan has copied Emma Thin, Marchioness of Bath. Emma Weymouth experienced adversity from family members when she tied the knot with Sulin Thin, Viscount Weymouth. The mixed-race model, who's the daughter of an English socialite and a Nigerian oil baron, married the heir to the Longleat estate back in 2012. The couple have two sons together, John IV and Henry II, who they live with in a grandiose home located next to the estate's popular safari park. She recalled, my origin was never an issue in my life until C and I got engaged. After that, no one could stop talking about it. But race doesn't define you. Although the star, who became the first black marchioness in British history, has a story which parallels that of Meghan Markle, she insisted that she'd never presumed to give Meghan advice, implying that the discrimination Emma experienced wasn't from the average UK citizen. Emma explained, I wouldn't want to compare myself to Meghan, I don't think it would be appropriate. Emma Thin seems to have everything that Meghan covets and has tried to copy, including cookbooks, a lifestyle brand, money, fashion shoots, a husband who apparently adores her, and the list goes on. Emma had to be on Meghan's radar pre-Prince Harry because she met her now husband at Soho House in 2011. Emma's descended from a Nigerian oil billionaire father and an English socialite mother, so that's where Meghan's obsession with 43% Nigerian came from. Emma's lovely and unfortunately her husband's family is incredibly discriminatory. I've always thought that she has the life that Meghan wanted, except that Emma Thin seems like a nice person. Emma also had no problems admitting to surrogacy for a second son, which removed him from the line of succession. Well, Emma's stunning, more Nigerian than Meghan, wore a stunning wedding gown and tiara, is married happily with kids and has a lot of wealth. Meghan is none of that. The Marchioness of Bath is living proof that the British royal family is not a discriminatory institution. What's interesting is that a second child was carried by a surrogate because of her health issues from a previous pregnancy, when she actually carried the baby. Emma didn't pretend to be pregnant by holding fake bumps, but openly admitted that she had a surrogate. If Meghan used surrogates and all her cards will be undone, will she say that the British royal family forced her to get a surrogate? because they said she wasn't worthy enough to carry a royal baby or something like that. The Marchioness of Bath didn't marry for money or to climb socially. She's an asset to her husband, bringing status, international collections and money of her own. Beautiful friends with the Spencer girls, an A-lister in aristocratic circles. Meghan brought none of that to her marriage and never could. She's a common social climber who fell flat on her ass had brought her husband down with her. Harry's thick and no woman of value would demean herself to be with him. 